Hey guys, welcome to the Rise Share Report. I'm Mike Dean. Thanks for joining me for today's special how-to report. And we're going to do a how to install the Uber Drivers app on some of the more newer iOS devices, such as the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, 6S, and 6S Plus. Now, I recently purchased an iPhone 6S. I upgraded from the 5S and the download was pretty much the same but the install didn't quite work out the same. So I'm just going to do a quick run through and show you how to get through um, some of those challenges that you might run into as well as simply just how to install the application. I'll also show you where to find the link for that um, so that you can um, you know, find an actual secure link uh, as well. So uh, let's just begin, shall we? All right, guys, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you where uh, to find the link so that you can download the Uber Driver app application to your mobile device. Um, now, I know a lot of drivers have a tendency of passing that link around on some of the Facebook, uh, TNC, and Rideshare group chats, but I definitely don't suggest that because, you know, you never know what you might get. And to be more on the safe side, I definitely suggest that you go through your dashboard um, to find that actual link. And I'm going to show you how to navigate and get there. The first thing you want to do, of course, is get to your dashboard. Now, I actually have, um, I actually have my dashboard uh, home screen button or rather set on my phone so that all I have to do as you can see is all I, you know just is just hit that um, kind of simulated app and I go directly to my uh, partner's dashboard in fact I don't even have to log in because I've already set that to remember login so if you don't have that at all the first thing you want to do is is uh, just Google uh, Uber driver partner and that'll bring you to um, this page here. And just click on the first one on top that says Uber and or get.uber. And that'll take you to the sign up and or sign in page so that you can sign in. As you can see, I'm already signed in. So um, once you sign in to your dashboard, you want to just click on the menu here in the upper left hand side and go down to the help at the bottom, click on help, and that'll take you to a help page. Just scroll down until you get down to devices. And under the devices, you have three choices uh, that are currently visible. Choose the second one, which says uh, using your own device. From using your own device, you'll have to actually click that again, use your own, use my own device. And that'll, uh, that'll load the page for uh, using my own device, of course, in this case, your own device, right? So now it tells you right off the bat the Uber Partner app can be installed on iPhone 4S, 5, 5C, 5S, 6, 6 Plus, uh, running iOS 7 or better. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that anything running uh, 8, uh, 8 or better, iOS 8 or better, might get you into a few challenges in terms of loading the application after you download it. Now, I went ahead and deleted my app from my phone so I can actually walk you guys through this. So if you just scroll down also um, all the way to the bottom, you'll see the, uh, the link to the actual Uber driver download page. So just click on that where it says t.uber.com forward slash driver dash app. And that'll take you to this page, which, you know, says uh, click here to download. Click on that. Excuse me. Just click on that, and it'll prompt you to install. Hit install, and that will start to begin the install process on your home screen, as you can see right here on the bottom right-hand corner of these apps. Now we want to go ahead and log in. Now there's just, just one problem when we attempt to do that uh, on the iOS 9 and 
this is what we get. So we get the untrusted enterprise developer warning. Uh, as you can see, it says iPhone distribution. Uber Technologies Inc. has not been trusted on this phone. Until this developer has been trusted, their enterprise apps will not be available for use. Pretty much, in other words, it's just a fair warning that this app is being installed from an external location outside of the App Store. So, you know, uh, Apple has to warn you that you'll be using an app that's currently, that hasn't gone through any particular reviews. Uh, but for the most part, go ahead and trust it. Just cancel that out. And then what we're going to do is actually go to settings. So this is the part where you can kind of enable that uh, application to be a trusted uh, application. You go to settings, scroll, scroll down to general, and then from general, we're going to go all the way down near the bottom to profiles. Now, don't ask me why profiles is where you find that, but that's where it is. Uh, you know, sometimes Apple just has a certain way of naming their menus and creating a navigation that can get people confused. I would have thought that that might be under, like, I don't know, trusted apps or something. But I'm not a techie guy to that degree, so I'm not too sure. In any case, so just click on that, and you know, right there highlighted in blue is Trust Uber Technologies, Inc. And then we want to just go ahead and click on that. We'll you know, read the information on that and then trust the application, more or less. So, and that's pretty much it. Um, now we have the Uber application, and all we have to do is go ahead and set it up. Uh, allow uh, Uber Partner to access location while you use this device. Naturally, you want to say yes to that. And then there we go. We're pretty much good to go. I'm going to click to go online, uh, hit allow notifications, and voila, we're in the application. For some of you, you might you might have to actually sign into your application, but otherwise the same. And by the way, while I'm here, I'm just going to show you really quickly because there might be a lot of uh, some new drivers that are watching this who want to get their uh, Uber driver application installed on their new device and get out there driving. Um, recently, uh, Uber made possible, there was an update to the Uber driver application, which now enables you to API with um, Google Maps, Waze, as well as Apple Maps. So prior to that, you had to use uh, Google's own proprietary uh, GPS navigation system, which kind of, you know, wasn't uh, wasn't sitting too well with a number of drivers as well as riders as well because it wasn't the most accurate um, you know GPS navigational tool. So, but um, but now you can actually add those um, those other GPS uh, applications to your driving experience. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. That's a picture of my face there, my pretty mug. Um, and just go to your menu on the upper left hand side and you go down to settings, and there you'll see um, uh, navigation. Click on navigation, and from there you can actually decide which map you prefer to use. You can use the Google Maps, you can use Waze, um, and you can just have it to ask you on every trip if you're not going to be too sure, or if you use one while you pick up and the other one while you drop off, or however you do it. I usually have mine set to the Uber app, um, just because that's just the way I, you know, I'm familiar with the city of San Francisco. Unless I'm taking a ride somewhere where I'm not familiar uh, with the location, I'll just manually use my um, my Google uh, Google GPS application to get me to that particular drop-off point. But for the most part, I know the city. I know how to get around. I'll just use the Uber navigation app. GPS just to get me started and heading in that direction and from there I usually figure it out so but there you go so you have that uh, great new feature in there which again will allow you to have uh, better GPS options for your driver experience and that's pretty much it guys um, if you have any questions by all means uh, please leave a comment underneath the video um, if you have any more if there's any more tutorials or anything else that you might want to know about and you'd like me to do a video I'll be more than glad to do that um, hopefully in the future I'll be going through this entire menu here 
uh, to kind of give you guys a breakdown on how to maximize the information and the accessibility to features. Uh, everything from, you know, reading your waybill or knowing exactly where your waybill is to, uh, you know, to uh, help and, and, you know, how to get through some of your account related information, you know, how to resolve certain disputes uh, or certain, you know, issues that come up with your passengers. Um, how to contact uh, Uber via the app for different types of challenges that you might have while you're out there driving and in the field. So there's a whole lot of information uh, here in your Uber Drivers app that you should really be familiar with because uh, I've seen lots of times people will actually ask questions on the uh, Facebook, you know, rideshare groups. Um, you know, looking for answers that are actually right here uh, in the application uh, at your fingertips. As you can see, I did a lot of driving this week. It's kind of embarrassing. Actually, one of the reasons why I haven't driven this week is because I've been preparing to work on a number of different videos. So this was four, this is one of them. Uh, once again, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you have any questions or comments, by all means, please leave them. If you have anything uh, that you want to learn how to do on your phone, or if you have any questions about working out there and driving out there in the field, ask me. Again, i got a number of tutorials coming up, a number of videos, uh, and I hope to see you guys then. Have a great day. Drive safe. Uber on.